Mowing a lawn sounds easy, right? Start the mower. Push it over the lawn. True, but if you want a healthier, better looking lawn, there is a lot more to do. First thing to remember is to mow often enough that you never remove more than one third of the lawn's height. Apart from mowing safely, one of the most important aspects of mowing is to get the height of cut right. In Perth, people tend to mow really short compared to the rest of the country. They have free draining soils and watering systems, so they can get away with it. In the east, most people don't install a watering system, so making sure that the lawn is drought tolerant is the main tip. That can be achieved by simply raising the mower height. Any lawn mown regularly at a lower height is going to need more water than one mown at a higher height. For suggested notch settings for your Honda Buffalo Buck mower, download the mower height PDF from this website. For example, Cooch and Kaikiri lawns can be mown slightly shorter than Buffalo. Getting the exact notch setting can be difficult as each lawn is a little different. So start with these settings and adjust up or down accordingly. Your lawn may have a lot of thatch, so a higher setting may be needed. Shade is one area where it pays to mow higher. I'd recommend using one of the higher settings on your mower. The extra leaf allows your lawn to tolerate lower light level conditions. There are times, however, that you do want to drop the height of the mower much lower. Each spring is a good time to dethatch your lawn, and your powerful Honda lawn mower is a perfect tool for the job. Drop the mower to a much lower notch setting for scalping your lawn. Again, check the PDF for the suggested setting. Never do this to fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, or ryegrass lawns. When scalping, to dethatch your lawn, make sure you collect all the clippings, and then after, fertilise with a good slow-release fertiliser. Thatch buildup is easy to recognise because your lawn starts to feel like a sponge, just like this. After scalping, your lawn will look untidy for two to three weeks, but new shoots will pop up everywhere. And when you resume your taller mowing heights, you will not only notice the mower easier to push, but the real benefit will be in all those dead layers of grass have been removed. And your lawn will behave like a young, fresh lawn again. Using the mulching part of your mower will help improve your lawn's health, with the clippings being mulched into tiny pieces that will help feed your lawn with nutrients. Mulch mowing makes lawn care easy, with less time spent emptying the catcher and trying to dispose of the clippings. But remember, if your lawn is long, or if your lawn is too wet, don't mulch mow, use a catcher. Try to avoid mowing in the wet. Instead, wait for it to dry. But as you know, that's often easier said than done. If you have to mow when wet, catch the clippings and empty the catcher more often, making sure to clean the chute after each time. Make sure your mower blades are sharp. Sharp blades cut wet grass much better. One good tip is to mow in passes less than half the width of the mower to minimise clumping and keep the blades turning fast and at the same time mow taller than you normally would. Whether it's wet or dry, never leave clumps of grass on your lawn. Either rake them up, pick them up, or mow over them again, collecting them in your catcher.